Skateboarding opened me up to a lot of different types of music. You know, before there was the internet and before there was anything else, that's how we got exposed to stuff. You know, I first heard jazz because I seen Gon's video part in Blind Video. My first record was a seven inch Blondie Rapture. I remember jamming that as like a little, little dude. I mean, I always come here just to see if I can get some last minute, just little hype, you know, some new spice to throw into the set. I just like coming here, period, you know? It's, it's just part of my ritual. I'll, I'll get some coffee and skate over here and just check it out, see if they got anything new. It's like a little mini museum. Let me check this out. Thrasher, 1986, Danzig cover. This is where we got turned on to a lot of our music, was through Thrasher. This meant a lot. One of the many reasons I love to come to the record store. I'm getting this one on a just general principle. It's an awesome record and this, this photo is just, that's pure inspiration right there. It's like a golden thread that you can run through your DJ set. It touches somewhere inside of you, you were like, dude, I'm feeling that. I just, I'll put together like little packs of, of energy. You know, that's, I feel like each record is a pack of energy and it can be good or bad depending on the crowd. You know, you can back a Desmond Decker up to a dead moon and it somehow makes sense. The vibe of the Red Room is it's a skate bar. There's always skate videos being played. You know, a lot of different people, a lot, you know, a lot of skaters, a lot of punkers, hip hoppers, you know, like skateheads, you know, people that are, they're kind of, you know, all over the place, they're into everything. I like to dance through the genres. I'll start maybe with like some 60s vibes, psychedelic, punk rock, metal. I'm not a DJ anyways, I just play records. I'm just like your uncle playing records at the basement at a family gathering or something. 